you want better results from your marketing, I want to teach you about a high converting landing page. We have one that I want to present today that shows you the exact step by step on how to go from a landing page to adding all the follow up processes to the copywriting, to the buttons, to the offer. It's the full complete guide to a high converting landing page. Hey there, my name is Brad Smith, owner of Automation Links. Over the last nine years, I've helped over 6,000 people with their website and landing page. And it's not just a page and you get results. You've got to be very strategic about this stuff. So it's all about the copywriting, uh, the buttons, the offer, the follow-up. All of this is super key. But if you want to increase your conversion rates and spend less on ads, this full guide will walk you through what to put on the landing page and then what to do after the landing page. So step number one is always going to be the copywriting. So the copywriting needs to match what your marketing says. So if you say strong coffee in your Google ad, you need that to be strong coffee at the top of your landing page. So whatever your offer is, you need to have that same headline. This does a couple different things. Number one, it's going to lower your cost per click. It's going to improve your quality score on these ad networks. Why? Because they see that you're directing traffic to a relevant ad. If somebody types in something, offer that exact thing on the page. If you're just sending them to your general website, you're not going to get the results uh, because they're going to get lost. The cost per click is going to be higher. The quality score for your ads are not going to be as great. And I think even most important, if somebody's on their phone, maybe they're browsing from social media, the page is going to load slow if you send them to your website and they might get distracted and just get confused and browse your website. So what we want to do is only allow them to click these menu items, which drop them down into the page. So if they click how it works, it's going to drop you down to how it works page, right? So if they click on reviews, it'll drop you down to the reviews page. Instead of having them get distracted and go to other pages, the goal is to get them to fill out the form and get that coupon code or whatever your best offer is. Now from there, we want to make sure that we follow up with people. And that's where this landing page comes in with the funnel. We call this the e-commerce marketing funnel works for, we have the appointment funnel, the e-commerce funnel. It's a way to build a relationship with somebody over time because when you send traffic, let's say from your social media channels or your ads or your SEO, they've never heard of you before. They make it to your website and they might just leave. What's the reason? They're just going to browse. I always say maybe they're at a red light. Maybe they're sitting at um, a light and the light turns green and they exit out of your website, right? So what we need to do is get them to a landing page so we can actually try to get their email. So if we can get their email, we can follow up with the email follow-up funnel here and build a better relationship. I would say 99% of people will not purchase right here, right away, right? What we want them to do is come to the landing page, fill out the form, give them our best offer, allow them to buy if they want, but assuming most will not buy, so we want to have them go into our follow-up system because on the sixth or seventh email, sixth or seventh ad, sixth or seventh social media post, then they're more likely to come back and buy. And that's where the next step is, is an offer. You have to give them your best offer, almost something that's going to make you break even or even lose money up front. We want to give them something so good that they built join our list. They join our email list and they join our social media pages after because what's going to happen is, yeah, maybe you'll break even on this offer, but you'll get a repeat customer because now they're in your funnel. Or maybe they're going to opt in for the offer and get on your email list, but it doesn't necessarily mean they're going to use that right away. So they might come back and buy in a couple of weeks and forget about the offer, or they might use it, but the goal is to get them into your community, get them into your business so you can build relationships with them, follow up and get them to be repeat customers and share your story. So what's your best offer? We want to put it right here at the top. The goal is to have them land on the page, see your copywriting. Okay, this is exactly what I was looking for. Show them an offer. Okay, this is the best offer. I'm really interested in this coffee and ask them to fill out the form. Now remember, a lot of people will be on their phone. So we want to have retargeting ads set up. So if somebody comes on this page and they're sitting at a red light and the light turns green, right? They're going to shut the phone off. So what we want to do is make sure we follow up with them so they're not texting and driving trying to buy our product. From there, we want to also build a relationship with them. So this particular landing page does well because we show the family. It builds trust. 
It shows that um, they're a cool business owner that people can relate to. Um, they have a cool story that you can read along with. So now I'm starting to trust this business a little bit more. I saw their best offer. They're building some sort of relationship with me, which is really key on a landing page. The next section is going to be what to expect. Show somebody exactly what they should expect. Let's say you have a webinar. If they're opting in for the webinar, show them what the webinar looks like. Show them it's not boring. If you have a product, show them what it's like, how easy it is. Choose your blend. We're going to ship it and you're going to drink your awesome coffee. Um, if you have a course, show them an example of the course. Show them a preview of how the course works. That's really key there. Always show them what to expect in a simple process. This is what you're going to get if you fill out the form. Make it easy. Next, we want to give them a little preview of our product, a little preview of what's going to happen. Maybe show some success stories, some case studies, show your exact products, show the bags. But what we don't want to do is let them go start shopping yet because that's the same thing. They're going to get lost. We want to keep them on this page. So we're just going to give them, tell them to get the coupon code still. This is a little preview of our product. You can see the different blends we have. You can see the different services you offer, um, the different courses you have. Whatever your business is, you want to give them a preview of what they're going to get later on. Maybe show them options. Maybe they came in for strong coffee, but they want stronger coffee. Maybe they came in for um, decaffeinated coffee and they changed their mind and they saw this, this one here. So whatever your business offers, think about that for yourself. The next is, hey, by the way, we got the coupon again. Continue reminding them. You can see we have it here in the button. We've got it here in the headline. Hey, this is our special offer. Make sure you grab this today. You might not get this again. So this is really key. Keep presenting that offer over and over. Next is fear of missing out, right? Show them other people that have experienced your product or your business and how much they love it. Images, you see how we're not using faces here. We're using the actual images of the product with the review. So nobody cares what the review person's face looks like. Try to show your customer in action. Show them, hey, this is my customer using this big bag with their espresso machine, right? So we want to be able to build value by showing the customer experience from people just like them and almost create that fear of missing out effect. Last but not least, show them the coupon again, right? So they scroll all the way down. Don't make them scroll all the way back up for the offer. Let them fill it out at the bottom. So what we always say is in your landing page, put the offer at the very top and then at the very bottom. That's really key. Show them the reviews, um, tell them about delivery, tell them whatever. Just give them as much information and provide value. So that's how the sales funnel works for a high converting landing page, right? We want to drive traffic to a landing page, only give them the option to fill out the form, give them the best offer, make sure your headline is exactly what you promised in your ad or your social media marketing. And then from there, what we want to do is start sending strategic emails. We suggest six strategic emails, one, two, three, four, and five, and then one more here, maybe they abandon cart. So what we want to do is um, give them the coupon code right away, build a relationship with them, tell them a little bit more about your business, tell them about the other products and services you offer, because maybe they weren't 100% interested in this first offer. So we can show them your two or three other offers you have down here. Then we want to remind them of the coupon code and then we want to give them an even better offer if they haven't purchased yet here. From there, always show them the price. As soon as they fill out the landing page, let them buy. Some people will want to buy. If they do buy, you have an opportunity to upsell them here. That's the key. Let's say they buy a bag of coffee. Now they can choose to buy a mug with that coffee. Think about yourself. All of these emails should go into going back to that landing page or a sales page to get them to buy. And then the bonus tip is you can always have a community or a group if they don't buy. So this particular business, if you come through the landing page, you go through the emails, and let's say you buy or don't buy, they invite you to join their Facebook group so they can continue providing value and education. For me, we provide, after, during our emails, we ask them to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way they can keep learning from me and I can keep providing value. And when they are ready to buy, they'll know exactly where to go and purchase. So I hope this brought you a ton of value. Think about what you should be putting on your landing page, what that copywriting is, what that best offer is. Think about some automated emails. We have this full guide on our website, automationlinks.com. You can grab it in the description below. Walk through this guide. And of course, if you need help setting any of this up, designing the landing page, helping with the copywriting, or most importantly, doing the follow-up after, reach out to us. That's what we do. We can help you with that. 
Thanks again for watching this video and I will see you on the next one.